Today is a really big day for VS Code users for one big reason, and that is that setting sync, synchronizing all of your settings for VS Code now is a feature that's built right into VS Code. You don't need an extra extension. So in this video, let's go ahead and take a look at the setting sync built-in stuff in VS Code. All right, I just wanna say if you're new to the channel, uh, welcome, thank you for checking out the video. I do weekly videos on JavaScript and web development related topics and sometimes do two videos a week as well. So if you enjoy the video, uh, please consider liking the video, subscribe to the channel, and then turn on the notification bell so that you can see new stuff as it comes out. Now, if you wanna know a little bit more about me as well, I also do live streams on Twitch at James Q Quick, so you can come and hang out there and interact. I would love to have you ask some questions and hang out in the chat there. And then also I have some courses and free downloads in learn.jamesqquick.com. Got my React and Serverless course and then a bunch of free cheat sheets that you might want to check out. So all of that said, let's actually dive into the setting sync. Uh, I was gonna say extension, but it's actually just built into VS Code now. I actually did a video on the setting sync extension sometime not too long ago. And so you can check that out, but this is really probably what you're gonna be doing going forward is using the built-in functionality right inside of VS Code. So I noticed inside of my settings the other day that uh, there's this big button. So if you open your settings, which is command comma or control comma, depending on Mac or Windows, um, or you can actually just go up to uh, the file, the view. And I thought I knew where this was, but apparently I don't. Anyway, uh, command comma, or there's actually the cog wheel, the little settings wheel here in the bottom left. You could do that too. So there's this big button now that says turn on setting sync. And I started to think about this. Well, what does that actually mean? Because what I've done is in the past, I've used the setting sync extension and this thing has worked really well. It will take all of your settings for your uh, snippets, your actual settings, your themes, your icons, your uh, workspaces, all that sort of stuff. And it will synchronize them in a gist and GitHub. So that was all really cool, but it was a separate extension that you had to install. It's not that big of a deal, but it's a little bit extra. Now the stuff is built right into VS Code. So I'm gonna show you, uh, this will take like 30 seconds to turn this thing on. Uh, you click on turn on setting sync. I will, uh, I'll show you the menu that I see here, which is just kind of prompting you, what do you want to save in these settings? And I'm like, I wanna do everything. I don't really know, maybe you have a reason to not save everything. I don't, I wanna save everything. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna say turn on. And uh, then it will ask you uh, to log in with either a GitHub account or a Microsoft account, which by the way, Microsoft bought GitHub. So those are not too much of a different thing, but anyway. So uh, James Q Quick, uh, logging in with my GitHub account. It says that this thing now is turned on. It's pretty sweet. Uh, you can see it last synced now. And then if you type in the command palette, so if you type in settings sync, you get a few options here and you can uh, show your synced data. Now this is a pretty cool view here, I think. Actually, I didn't realize there's this icon now on the left on the sidebar for setting sync. And it shows you, here's all the things that have been synced uh, and it shows you when, so very recently. Um, I turned this on right before I record this video, which is why it says like up to nine minutes ago. It shows you it's doing UI state, extensions, user snippets, keyboard shortcuts, settings, all that sort of stuff. And then it breaks down what different machines you're synchronizing these settings from. And the reason is, the, the benefit of this is like, if I go on a new machine, hopefully those settings are synced, you can merge settings, you can pull settings, and then I can use VS Code on any machine I want to, have that listed here, and I could edit this in some, oh, edit the name here, and then I could potentially like turn off syncing on one of these as well. This is really powerful. I love that VS Code now is showing you all the things that are synchronizing. You have this tab over here, which is a really cool, simple icon, like that's, not the most exciting part of this, but I think that looks really nice. So anyway, to have this built in is pretty sweet and now I don't have to really do anything else. So if you want the documentation, I'll leave a link in here to the setting sync page and it basically goes through the same sort of stuff, choosing what information you want to be synced. Uh, it does talk a little bit about if you're doing this on multiple different instances of VS Code, you, how you can merge or replace settings and you can merge manually. So you can choose like if these things have competing uh, settings, you can kind of choose to, to do the ones that you want. Uh, you can configure, there's some extra configurations that you can do in your settings as well. And anyway, so there's all the details that you'll need, but for the most part, this is baked in. It's super easy to use. I don't really know what else you would need to do. So let me know what you think. If you've tried out the setting sync extension, I think it's in technically in a preview mode at this point, but it won't be long before this is kind of an official thing that's ready to go. Actually, I would say it's ready to go now. Uh, so I'm using it. I want to know in the comments, let me know if you're using it. If you've tried it out, if you've had success with it, I'm super excited about it. I'm gonna be using it. 
Anyway, thanks as always for checking out the video. Like the video if you enjoy it, subscribe, all that sort of stuff. I would love to have you come and be more a part of the channel. Uh, anyway, thanks again for being here and I'll catch you in the next video.